Hey guys and welcome to episode 3 of my outfit diaries. I hope you're enjoying them so far. Um, today is Tuesday. Hopefully this is not the first clip that you're seeing of this vlog because if it is, it means I've not been able to get back the footage that I shot yesterday. Um, basically I left my big cannon on the tube which I'm very angry and upset about as you can imagine. It's a very expensive camera and um, I can smell dog poo. I'll sort that out in a minute. Um, yeah, basically left my Canon on the tube yesterday, somewhere on the Victoria Line or the Northern Line. It's a very expensive camera, and I'd spent the morning shooting photos for not only this video and Instagram, but also for a job that I'm working on, a sponsored blog campaign. So really, really bloody annoyed with myself. If you did see clips, however, before this one, then it means I've somehow managed to get it back. So, fingers crossed, praying, praying, praying. Um, but yeah, it's Tuesday today. I'm in my comfy clothes at the moment. Got a little chicky chicky on my lap. I don't know why I've started calling him that. Little Dickens on my lap. He's so loving at the moment. Like, whenever I sit down, he always just comes to cuddle me. So yeah, I'm working from home this morning. We actually have a designer from Sharps coming around in a second because I really want to turn our silly little box room into a walk-in wardrobe. It's been like a dream of mine ever since we moved into the house. So that guy or girl um, is gonna be coming around in the next half an hour to talk through a few different designs, which I'm so excited about. Um, storage in this house is just such a huge issue, so it'll be amazing if they can provide any kind of nice solution. So this morning I'm wearing a very casual outfit for just working at the house. This is actually a top that I've stolen from Charlie's mum. Sorry, Viv. Um, it's from Zara, and it's just a really comfy grey loungewear top. Three quarter sleeves, and then at the back, I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but it's got like pearls, three pearls down the back, so just a really lovely detail. And then these are the trousers, um, the M&S cashmere trousers that I showed you in last week's video in my cozy outfit diaries vlog um, and I've been wearing them so much already getting good price per wear out of them. While I'm down here as well, new coffee table. We ordered this months ago, so many months ago, like literally half a year ago and um, it arrived but the marble was broken in half which was so upsetting and then it didn't come back into stock for ages but it finally did on Oliver Bonus um, and I bought it again so so pleased to have our coffee table up and running. The lounge finally feels like a lounge again. How cute does the coffee table look? I'm so pleased with it. Um, and I've just put on these lovely roses. They're like these everlasting roses from this company Fleur de Paris. Got a couple of my favorite candles, Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir. Um, and then these little coasters are from Anthropology. Another Pomegranate Noir. Um, I get so many questions about this. This is my laptop case and it's from a company called Coconut Lane, and they very kindly sent me a discount code, which I think is my name, so Josie in capitals, and then 20 for 20% off the whole site. So yeah, if you wanna treat yourself, it's very affordable. I think this is like under 20 pounds. Just in case you're one of the people that have been asking me about it, now you know. Oh, and I've got my lovely um, emu slippers on again. So super cozy for a month. <laughs> Okay, so Ben from Sharps is over at the moment. He's just gone to the car to get some fabric samples. So I've just nicked his um, little sketchbook to show you the plans because this is all very, very exciting looking. Um, we've decided to have a little seat under the window with some shelving or drawer space underneath. This is where Charlie's gonna keep his shoes, more shoe storage for Charlie, and then some double hanging space here for him my side we're gonna have a shelving unit that i can put like handbags pretty shoes flowers all that kind of thing and then this is where my shoes will be an open hanging section and then loads and loads of hanging space here so this is the design at the moment apparently it's going to take about five weeks until this will be um able to be built but yeah how exciting is this all coming to life 
Okay, so I'm in um, central London now, speaking quietly because I'm in the Harley Street clinic. I'm here to get my brows done with HD brows and my lashes curled with an LVL lash lift. So I'll show you that process, but very quick outfit of the day. Jumper is this one from Topshop, got this quite recently, really love the color. Leggings and little Reese shoes, which I rather love. Oh, and then the bag, um, this one is my YSL Neverfull, I think it's called, YSL bucket bag most practical bag ever um and then little monica vanilla necklace and jewelry my brows are done <laughs> that looks crazy is it purple like a, a brownie kind of color mm -hmm. Again, and I'm looking absolutely ridiculous. So I um, had my brows and my lashes done, as you saw earlier. And then, um, not that my face was hurting at all, it definitely wasn't. Uh, I just wanted something calming on my skin, but I didn't want to put a proper face mask on because you have to be quite careful with getting your lashes wet after the LVLs. So I found this strange item in my bedside drawer and it's a cooling and firming um, forehead strip from Skin Iceland. So I decided to put that on. And then these are some under eye depuffing gel things, but they're not very liquidy. So I'm not sure if maybe these are a little bit old. So uh, yeah, having a bit of a pamper evening. My lashes and brows are looking amazing. I have had LVR before, but I forgot what an impact it makes. So LVL is when they basically, it's um, a service from Nuvo Lashes. You could lie back and you have like a liquid put onto your lashes, which almost, I think it kind of breaks down the protein or the structure of your lashes, which makes them very moldable. Um, and then there's a template that they press the lashes onto and then another liquid goes on your lashes which sets them into that beautiful curved shape and then you also have your lashes tinted as well so when you have finished a treatment, I'm not sure if this camera will pick it up, but you basically look like you have false lashes on um, but it's your own lashes so very very effective I won't need to wear mascara for the next few weeks because it looks so so great so very happy with my lashes and then the brows they were waxed they were threaded they were shaped they were plucked they were colored and hopefully that will mean that I don't need to worry so much about doing too much to my brows over the next few weeks as well and that was with HD brows so a really nice pampering afternoon I have now put on some new pajamas which as you can see are a little bit weird so um I like them mostly they remind me Dickie stop chewing um, they kind of remind me of the Olivia Van Hal ones which I have the beautiful dusky pink pajamas in that silky material um, which are of course ridiculously expensive I bought these because they very much reminded me of those Olivia Van Hal ones and I adore them except for this weird can you see that sleeve detail I'm trying to show you in the mirror hold on so they're a beautiful, beautiful dusky pink, the exact same as the Olivia Van Hal pyjamas. Um, but then they go and ruin it with this weird, it's got like an open arm, which I really don't like. I really wish it didn't have this strange detail. When you're just like this, you can't see it. But for example, this arm, like that's my elbow poking out. So such a strange design detail. And I find that quite a lot with River Island things. Like most of it is wonderful and then they put like a random logo on like I also wish this wasn't here my initials are not RI so I don't really want RI on my pajamas um if it wasn't for that and the weird opening sleeves then these would be stunning but I'm still really happy with them really good price for some nice kind of silky pajamas so that is my final outfit of the day if you will um I'm gonna catch up with you guys in the morning night night Wednesday. Um, today started with another little pamper session. I went to Harvey Nichols and had a gel manicure using nails ink colours. I always forget what a great service it is, so you can basically choose any colour from the nails ink range, which as you know they have so many. I went for a shade called Afternoon Mocha, which is a beautiful kind of brownie colour, um, and then they mix it with a chroma gel to turn it into a gel, which is fab because then it lasts for two weeks. So a really lovely start to the day, got my nails done, so so happy with the colour. Um, I will show you my outfit in a second. My 
my makeup is looking a little bit scary because I didn't really put too much on today. Um, but in a minute, when I find a full length mirror, I'll show you up in the day. Sorry, I got a bit cut off there. Um, two girls like my age started walking towards me and I find it so awkward vlogging in front of people that are my age and girls especially. So I've got a busy day of meetings this morning. I'm heading to my favorite place for meetings now, which is the Farm Girl Cafe in the Sweaty Betty flagship. Meeting um, Dolce and Gabbana Beauty there, which would be really, really lovely. So I will take you along and hopefully show you my outfit at some point. <laughs> Back home now, I didn't get to show you my outfit while I was out and about, so I'll quickly show you now. Um, it's quite a chilled outfit, but I'm really liking the colour combination at the moment. So same trousers and shoe combination as I wore yesterday, just find them very comfortable and very versatile trousers. As I mentioned, these are Zara a couple of years old, but I will try to find um, something that's available to purchase now if I can and leave that link down below. Shoes are also Reese a couple of seasons old, but I'm hoping to find something similar because I wear these so much. And then the top half, these are both Reese items, really comfy and cozy. This is a faux fur gilet, really love the color of this. It's like almost a lilac-y gray with a little pocket in there. The top underneath, I need to kind of put a little stitch in to catch it because if I didn't have a top on underneath it would be very very revealing but it's a lovely cozy piece um long sleeves nice knitted material very warm but yeah it does kind of gape open so I'm looking out for a nice silky vest that I can wear underneath things like this so if anyone has any recommendations for places to buy nice vests as in the kind of vest that you don't mind people seeing then let me know because I'm looking out for that necklace um this is from the Monica Vinida Riva collection, which I'm a huge fan of. And then I've got a couple of Monica Vinida bracelets on as well. I'm thinking of getting this top one engraved with 200,000 on there, because when I hit 100,000 YouTube subscribers, I had a Monica Vinida bracelet engraved with 100,000. So yeah, might engrave that one with 200,000. So that's what I've been wearing today. I'm gonna get changed now into something a little bit more comfy because I'm going to film a video, which means tracksuit bottoms are going on. Good morning, it is Thursday and woke up super early this morning, bright and early for a BXR class, which I've not done before. Very excited to try it. I was invited by Simple Skincare, so hopefully gonna be trying out a few of their new products after the class. As for what I'm wearing, the outerwear that I wore to get here is this amazing kind of dress and gown-like coat from River Island, which hopefully I'll be able to show you a bit better later on. Um, and then I've got my pink, you don't even need me to tell you where my sports stuff is from, it's all sweaty betty, my pink workout vest, um, and then these new leggings which are their butt sculpting ones. So my bum's looking good this morning which is great. Um, and yeah, excited for the class, gonna burn off my curry that I had for dinner last night, so let's do it. World's cutest gym bathrooms. So I found a full length mirror so I can show you quickly my gym outfit. Sweaty Betty top and sports bra. And then these are the leggings which I'm a big, big fan of. Okay, so after, so workout is complete. That was a really, really good start to the day. And then I used the new um, products from the limited edition Simple range to cleanse and moisturize afterwards. They've kind of designed the range with um, more of a gym focus. So just promoting cleansing the skin before a workout and then after with the micellar face wipes in shower face wash and the light hydrating cream so it's really nice to have a bit of a pamper session and also the showers at BXR were probably the best showers I have ever experienced so definitely going to be heading back there. Now um, my first appointment of the day is here at Topshop, I'm in the personal shopping suite and um, I'm picking out an outfit or two and I'm looking for things that I can layer so as well as general autumn wardrobe bits I really want to find some layering pieces so the personal shopping girls have pulled together some amazing Amazing bits and bobs, the room is just kind of like filled with clothes, which is very exciting. I gave them a bit of a brief um, and they pulled out some amazing things. They obviously know my style very well because they've also picked out some bits that I already own, like my um, faux fur jacket and the gilet and um, a couple of skirts and things like that. 
So I'm going to try some pieces on. I will show you what I'm trying. Uh, so let's do this. And before I do that, I'll just quickly show you my outfit of the day. Um, so I'm wearing a Topshop dress already. This one you probably saw in my first outfit diary video. I just love it so much. And then I've paired it with these burgundy boots. They are the ones that have, um, they're kind of more of a patent material at the bottom and then more suede. And they are from Reese. I love them. Really good investment boot. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of these in the autumn months and then I was wearing it with my River Island coat which also feels like a dressing gown, super super snuggling. So this first look that I've tried on um, is one of my layering looks. I have gone for this beautiful, it's almost like a velvet material dress. I am really liking these more autumnal kind of dark floral dresses at the moment but sometimes with dresses you want to be a little bit warmer so for that reason I've put a roll neck top underneath it. Roll necks for me are just one of the most versatile things in an autumn wardrobe so gone for this quite a neutral coloured uh, roll neck which I think will be very very practical acts like a bit of a vest as well so it keeps you nice and toasty and then to finish I put a gilet on top I actually already have this one as well but the girls pulled it out for me so I can try it with this outfit I would probably wear dark tights on cooler days um, but I've got bare legs and these little pointed toe boots on at the moment. What I'm going to do is try to find all the bits that I try on um, and link them down below so just check out like Topshop haul section or Topshop try on section in the description box if you like anything that you see here. Uh, I also picked out this bag which whether worn crossbody or just held as a clutch I think just finishes this look off really nicely so good start let's move on to outfit number two this is another look with my same roll neck on underneath I've paired it with this it's quite a spongy material like a squishy um, chevron detail on the skirt with these big kind of retro 60s circle cutouts um, and then I've put on the faux fur pink coat Just love this color combination it's quite autumnal because of the faux fur and the roll neck and yet the colors are beautiful pastels so if like me you love your pastels this is a really cute combination and Another option with this roll neck, I've tried on this top which has got these amazing slit sleeves. Now I'm not too sure the periwinkle blue works for me, but I definitely want to try this top in a few different colours because I like the fact that you have the roll neck base layer sleeves coming out from underneath. So I'm going to ask uh, Chloe, who's my personal shopper, to see if she can pull out this in a different colour. And we have gone to the 1960s. I'm trying on a pair of flares. I never would have picked these up, but I'm actually in love with them. I think they are so flattering. Uh, this is the security tag, by the way, which is why I'm looking a little bit crazy. Again, got the uh, roll neck top on, seriously versatile, and I think it's like 20 pounds, I think. So definitely gonna be picking this up. Um, but yeah, how cool do these look? Got the pointed toe shoes on as well, which adds to the kind of retro vibes. I've just popped the gilet on top and I really like this addition to the outfit as well. This, as I mentioned, I already have um, and it's just such a versatile piece. So I will definitely be uh, picking up these flares as well. Really, really love them. And I really like them with these boots as well, which I tried on with the dress earlier. So I think this is gonna be my second outfit of choice. And for the next edition, I have added, um, it's the blouse that I tried on in the periwinkle colour earlier. The girls have just picked me out the top in white. They've also got it in this burgundy colour and black. Really like it in white for this kind of 60s outfit with the flares. So I think I'm going to add this um, to my wish list for my layering ideas. But yeah, it's just nice to make it a little bit more smart, a little bit more kind of floaty. Next, I've gone for this skirt, which is like a green, almost patent material, but still under £40, so really nice affordable one. Um, and then this top is really unusual. It's almost like a Victoriana style with this ruffle collar detail, which you know <laughs> I just absolutely love. And then instead of the gilet, although you probably could also pair the gilet with it, I've gone for a faux fur scarf. I had one of these last year from Reese. It was quite pricey, um, but I invested and I wore it so much and it's more of a pink colour so I picked this one up as a neutral option. You could definitely wear um, a belt as well, I've got a few options here the girls grabbed and that would really help to just cinch in the waist to make it a little bit more flattering. I've tried this outfit on with the hat and I feel like this is the perfect autumn hat. Huge wide fluffy brim, gorgeous neutral brown colour and it's kind of like a woolen felted material so it should be really nice and warm. Kind of adds to the 60s vibe of this try on session so yeah what do you think? Should I get the hat? Hmm. 
Next, a bit more of a casual number. This is a pair of straight leg trousers. I think these are the Moto denim. Um, and this white, very casual, very cozy jumper. I do feel like I have an outfit quite similar to this already. Do I need another jumper like this? But I do really like it and it's very soft and cozy. Also, again, paired it with the pointed toe shoes. It's quite harsh having the black um, shoes at the bottom of the light colored trousers. But again, just loving this pointed toe. I really don't know whether I need another jumper, but I'm not not sure I can say no to this one because it's so soft. Really like this big billowy neck as well. I can definitely fit my thermal underneath it, which is always a plus point. This jumper I am really, really liking. So it's kind of like almost a ballerina jumper with this twist knot detail in the front section. I do have something quite similar from Reese, but it really billows open and hangs open and reveals my bra or vest underneath. So this I feel like is a much safer option and far more affordable. Paired it with these mustard colored trousers. They're quite 60s vibe with also like some ring detail on the zip at the side. I'm not too sure what shoes I'd pair them with. Maybe I will try these um, tan suede shoes. I'm gonna go with this handbag as well. Let's see how this would look. Just adding a slightly darker shade in there. I think that's nice. Again, quite 60s, nod to the 60s trend with this circle detail on the bag. Could probably pair it with the gilet and you could probably put the um, roller neck top underneath it as well if you want to make this blouse a little bit warmer but yeah definitely gonna get the jumper I can see myself wearing this a lot very much my style I am in love with these trousers they are like this oxblood burgundy color that probably shows the color a little bit better um, faux leather trousers I love leather trousers and wear them so much at this time of year as you'll have seen earlier in this vlog I had that nudie pair that were seasons old from Zara these I think are 36 pounds and this color is just like autumn goals I think they're quite a statement piece but at the same time I find that so many outfits go with leather trousers and I wear them so 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 much these also they're quite like thick they're very elasticy so very comfortable I feel like I'm wearing leggings which is always a bonus to be super comfy and they have kind of a brushed up lining as well so they just feel like you're wearing clouds on your legs so these I'm definitely getting and you'll be seeing me wearing these so much because I am obsessed Okay, so I think I've chosen my outfits. Got back dressed into my normal outfit and the girls are totting everything up. Let's see what the damage is. Um, but I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit with the coat on because it looks pretty cool and I'm in love with it. Here we go. So it is super long. I feel like I'm wearing a dressing gown out in public, which is always a good thing. Super cozy. Um, I do feel a little bit gangster, a little bit P. Diddy-ish because it's so long and this like faux shielding. I think it was around the £85 mark, but I think I will get a lot of wear out of it. So hopefully that price per wear will come right down. So I'm going to pay for my pieces. I've also got a Reese order to click and collect and then I'll catch up with you a little bit later. So it's a few hours later now and I'm actually in the Topshop head office. They're having a bit of a party tonight with a few bloggers. So we're here just looking at the new collection which is all here behind me. Nice to see some of my fellow vlogging pals here and there's also some like paintings of our favorite outfits which is really lovely. And it's nice to catch up with the girls that work at Topshop because I work with them quite a lot um, on my YouTube channel and on my blog and Topshop obviously is a brand that I wear a lot of. So it's really nice to be here, catch up with the team and get a glimpse into the new collection. So yeah, really nice to be here and let's check out the new collection. Ha 
happy Friday. Um, so I stupidly forgot to bring my vlogging camera out with me today. So the clips that you just saw were all filmed on my iPhone. So sorry if the quality wasn't too good. Um, I left the house quite early this morning for a gym session, which hopefully you'll have seen a few clips of wearing, actually not all sweaty betty for once. I was wearing sweaty betty leggings and sports bra. And then I had a Nike top over the top, which actually I don't like as much as my sweaty betty ones, but they were all in the wash. So that's what I wore for the gym. And then this is what I've been wearing all day today. I, I actually felt quite frumpy in this jumper earlier when I first put it on but then a lady came up to me in the changing room at the gym and complimented on it, said that she really liked my outfit and she loved the jumper so I instantly felt better so if you ever see anyone and you like their outfit definitely say something, I always do because um, you never know, it might completely change how they're feeling about their outfit for the day so that's happened this morning um, so yeah, this is what I wore today this is the cosy polo neck, no it's not polo neck, roll neck jumper uh, this is actually a high street version of the Reese one that I got last week because I get really funny about like high quality knit where I don't like wearing it on more casual days because I don't want to ruin it. So I got this one, really like it. It's got a bit of a dipped hem at the back, a bit of an asymmetric hem, which I like. And then my M&S skirt, yes, thermal underneath, my Marks and Spencer um, dark green, it looks black here, but it's dark green corduroy skirt, bargain, and my Zara boots, which are probably getting very bored of. I have found a few alternatives that you can buy at this time of year, this season, so I'll leave them linked down below. So yeah, today after the gym, we had our PT session first thing, and then I had breakfast with Astrid and Mew, which is probably one of my favorite which is one of my favorite jewelry brands, as you guys know. They were launching the Orbit Collection, which is a new range of jewelry, and I very kindly was given these earrings, which are so beautiful. I will leave them linked down below. Price point-wise, I think Astrid and Mew just have it absolutely perfectly. It's much higher quality than like typical high street pieces, but it's not expensive jewelry like Monica Vinada or like Lynx, that kind of thing. I just love them. And then I also have two new rings from Astrid and Mew, which I love as well, They're really beautiful. Again, I'll leave these ones linked down below so you can shop them. After the Astrid and Mew breakfast, which was beautiful at Dalloway Terrace with lots of lovely other bloggers, I then, what did I do then? Oh, I went to the Aveda flagship. Um, in Covent Garden and had a pedicure there. I love getting my nails done there. It's just such a nice vibe, really, really nice. And they do shellac manicures, so I had a pedi. Then I went to, surprise, surprise, the Farm Girl Cafe in Sweaty Betty. If you're ever in London, then chances are if you go there, I will be there. Um, but yeah, love it there. So I had a couple of meetings there and then I came home. So that's what today has been full of. Charlie and I are gonna go out for a burger later, typical Friday afternoon activity um and then we're probably gonna have an early night i'm not sure if we're going to the cinema tonight i think charlie actually wanted to see blade runner so maybe we're doing that but that's not gonna be very exciting for you guys you've seen me eating a burger a million times so i am going to um switch off and see you tomorrow so yeah cheerio see you in the morning morning it is Saturday I say morning I'm starting the actual vlogging part of today at like 5 p.m. Um, today we've just been doing house stuff all day after a quick workout this morning within which I was wearing sweaty Betty of course needn't be said and now um, it's the afternoon so we're just starting to get ready for tomorrow we've got a full day photo shoot tomorrow at Clifton House which is a beautiful National Trust property so I really want to film like an autumn lookbook or something there which should be really really lovely so I'm just going through my rails um, any new bits and bobs that maybe I've not tried on as an outfit before I'm pulling those out and trying them on so to do that I've just got this really cozy jumper on ordered this from River Island not too long ago and yeah I thought that it's getting to that time of year where we really want those kind of cozy grandpa vibes so I really like this jumper and then these leggings are faux suede or like yeah faux suede leggings I just love this kind of trouser I find them very very versatile I find myself wearing them a lot and they are incredibly comfortable excuse the mess behind us this is what happens when we're preparing for a filming day so we're probably gonna spend the next couple of hours just getting outfits ready preparing bits and bobs to pack ready for tomorrow because we have got an early start in the morning we have just had a delivery from Biscuiteers and these are the guys that if you watched my 
Outfit Diaries last week. Um, these are the people that sent the, or that made the biscuits for the Coast uh, Royal Ballet collaboration. This is their Halloween collection. So you can get individual ones. These I will show you in a sec. Um, but this is like a gift box you can get. Obviously it's like Day of the Dead kind of theme, which is really awesome. Definitely keep this box for little trinkets and things like that. So I thought I'd show you what is inside. Wow, oh my goodness. This is such a good idea if you've got any friends that don't like kind of typical Halloween but love bright colours, like a Skull Day of the Dead themed Halloween gift box. That is epic, look at that. So I've got plenty of treats for um, this afternoon to keep us going while we carry on tidying and sorting the house. So this one is rather fun, it's like a gingerbread man, but obviously a little bit mummified. He's got a skeleton hand, he's got cut, he's got bandages all over him. And then this one is a ghost. I personally love loads of icing, so I'm definitely gonna be devouring that one. So this is a very kind blog mail. Thank you very much, Biscuiteers. I will enjoy demolishing at least one of these with my afternoon cup of tea. So I thought I would try out the Charlotte Tilbury um, dry face mask ahead of our shooting experience. And this is the weirdest face mask I have ever tried. I can't even stop staring at my face because I look like some kind of mass murderer. Um, but it's meant to like lift and hydrate and brighten, etc, etc. But it's dry. It's so weird, like there's no liquid going onto my face. It's like putting a bit of cotton on your face. Apparently you can use it three times, so hopefully this will give me amazing skin. But I've just done some editing on this vlog and it looks like it's going to be about half an hour long, so I'm going to wrap things up. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, then leave um, some kind of fruit emoji or a star emoji in the comment section below and then I'll know who got to the very end because it is definitely a long one. So I'm going to leave you with this beautiful image and see you next week. Bye!